Do, we, do you want to introduce yourself? Um, so my name is Laura. Um, I graduated in 2016 and I majored in cultures and my engine sciences and engineering. And what did you do after that? So after graduating, I took a year where I um, travelled a bit and then I worked at an advertising agency. Mm. Um, and then I realised that isn't really what I wanted to do and that I kind of wanted to learn more. Um, so I then began a master's, um, an MSc in health, wellbeing and sustainable buildings at the Bottler at UCL. And uh, what do you doing now or are you about to start something new? Yeah, so I'm just wrapping up my master's now and then this September I'll be starting a PhD um, called the Ecological Brain, which is all about understanding uh, the brain and behaviours in real world settings. Gosh, so that's quite a jump, isn't it, yeah. from previous things. So if we said to you when you are in your first year that you'd be doing a PhD in the ecological brain, how would you have reacted then? I never would have believed you, never. <laughs> um, I think when I started, I, I mean, I was already debating which um, pathway to take, let alone, you know, understanding where it was going to take me after that. Um, even if you took me back to a year, uh, well, just after graduating, I still, you know, I kind of knew I wanted to do something about buildings, but I wasn't sure what. Um, then I used what I'd done in my dissertation to, to land on this master's. And then following that, I then thought, you know, what else could I do that puts all these different disciplines together that I've been building up over the years, um, plus my interest in spaces and buildings and do something worthwhile after that. I think all of these steps, you know, they lined up. Now I can see how they sort of lined up in an odd way, but back then I never would have been able to envisage this whole journey. Mm -hmm. And what was your dissertation on? Can you cast your mind back yeah. to that? Uh, so my dissertation was on the Maggie Centres and the relationship between sort of design, architecture and palliative care. Oh. So it was about people and spaces again yeah. um, and creating good spaces for people. And presumably you're just finishing, you're doing a dissertation now. Yeah. What, what's that about? So I've, I've just begun that. So it's about, um, again, kind of in healthcare spaces, looking at how these sort of Maggie Centre type therapeutic spaces are experienced by people with different sensory conditions. So visual impairments, hearing impairments, um, neuro neurological conditions, um, seeing whether they work effectively for different users and their needs. Do you think you'll be able to take any of that forward for the Ecological Brain project? So what I'm hoping to do in this Ecological Brain programme over the next four years is continue thinking about how spaces impact people, whether that's in the healthcare world or not, I'm not sure yet. But what I want to add is that people side of things. So understanding the brain a bit better, how people react to things, um, because I feel like ultimately if we understand that, then we understand how to build spaces for those needs and for the way people react, and that will ultimately be the healthiest spaces for us. Mm -hmm. And how many architecture modules from the Bartlett did you take? So I actually didn't do any. God. I did. I primarily did history of art and did a bit of history of architecture in that as well. Right. Um, but then I'd always had this interest in buildings. If I wasn't going to do arts and sciences, I was going to do architecture. Right. And then, um, yeah, I was just, I kind of already had this idea in my head. And because I had this background of kind of understanding architecture as a, you know, a discipline kind of historically, um, also doing a bit of kind of like so that social, um, I don't mean, I mean, at the, no, what do I mean? I mean sociolinguistics yep. and um, cultural anthropology. I had mm. kind of different avenues to look in and it at, mm. and I think uh, and that was kind of how they let me do it. So I was supervised by someone in the Bartlett, but that was my first foray into that uh, faculty. Did you do any psychology at all? <laughs> you what? would have thought so. Yeah, interesting. Yeah, no. Yeah. But I didn't, in hindsight now, I didn't feel so overwhelmed jumping into something that I hadn't done because that's what I'd been doing all this time anyway. Mm -hmm. It just happened to be another new field. 
So I was kind of like, why not? Would you say the bass gave you that sense of confidence? I think, think so, yeah. I think it's... Um, I mean, I don't differentiate things so strictly by disciplines um, at all when I, when I mm. um, look at kind of new projects and things like that. Um, even now for my master's, everyone else is an architect or an engineer. I'm the only one that's not. But... I can see that I kind of approach things a bit differently or we work in teams together quite well still and I learnt, I knew that I was going to be okay because of all the experiences I'd had before in arts and sciences. I didn't find that as intimidating as maybe I would have otherwise. So um, knowing what you know now about where what you're doing, um, is there anything... Did, that you wish you'd done differently while you were a student on Basque, or are you mm. sort of quite happy with the way you went through each each year of Basque? I am overall happy with kind of how I chose what I did um, within my four years in arts and sciences because I really enjoyed having that breadth, and I I tried quite hard to, to keep it broad. Um, if I were to change one thing, or if I was to advise someone who's starting it now, I'd say just you know, look at things you never would have considered looking at. Think like beyond the disciplines you do at school, which is, of course, hard to do because that's all you really know when you start. Yeah. Um, but in kind of you know, looking side to side and seeing what other people were doing, maybe I would have done some behavioural economics if I'd kind of known what that was a bit more at the time. Um, so I'd say just kind of listen to what people are doing, think outside the box as much as possible and grab those opportunities. Right, well, thank you very much.